This video explores ways of adding content to Stash. You can import images and videos from the Photos app using Stash's custom photo picker. The first time you open the photo picker, it will ask you to enable location services. This is because Stash accesses your original photo files, and they may contain GPS data about where they were taken. Tap to select entire albums or individual items. Stash will import your selections into the current album. If you've selected items from custom photo albums, the picker will offer to create same-named albums in Stash. Stash also supports simple copy and paste from the clipboard. We'll demonstrate both operations here, though of course you'll normally copy from another program and paste into Stash or vice versa. If you ever tap and hold and you don't see a copy option, it means the file is too large to put on the system clipboard. Let's get rid of the duplicate we created. Notice that pasting also adds to the current album when it imports. To transfer files from your PC, Stash integrates with iTunes. Connect your iPad or iPhone to your computer, you don't have to let it sync, and select your device in the iTunes sidebar. Navigate to the Apps tab and scroll down to the File Transfer section. Select Stash, then press Add and choose the files to transfer. Stash supports both individual files and zip archives iTunes will copy the files to your device. The files will be visible in iTunes until Stash imports them. The import begins automatically the next time you log into Stash. If Stash was already running and is password protected, Stash will prompt you to re-enter your password. If you want to add files to the public account, be sure to log in with the public password. iTunes transfers always go to the current account. Once Stash imports the files into its secure library, they'll disappear from iTunes. If Stash leaves any files behind, it means they aren't supported. Highlight them in iTunes and press the delete key to remove them from the device. iTunes transfers are not initially added to any albums. Just tap to expand a zip file. Zips expand into the current album. Like Stash's photo picker, Stash's zip expansion can mirror the zip's folder structure with same named albums in Stash. This allows you to import and organize entire directory structures in one step. When all its content has been extracted, Stash will automatically delete the zip. If iTunes isn't to your liking, you can also transfer files to Stash wirelessly via your web browser. Go to Stash's settings and start web access. Web access will only be enabled while its screen is showing in Stash. Type the given URL into your browser. Welcome to Stash's web interface. You can create albums and upload or download content. To add content to an album, just press the Add button and select the files to add. The final and most fun way of importing content is through Stash Pro's built-in private web browser. We're going to download some actor media, so let's switch to that album. On the iPad, the browser adds your downloads to the current album when it imports. Stash's browser maintains its own history and cookies so that you don't leave a trail in Safari. It features tabbed browsing, bookmarking, auto-completion, integrated Google search, and the option to browse as a desktop, iPad, or iPhone. You can create new tabs manually, or tap and hold a link to open it in a new tab. Tapping a link to an image, video, or document opens it in Stash's full screen custom media viewer. Just hit the download button to add it to your library. If we had tapped a zip link, it would have just downloaded directly. To download an image that's embedded on the page instead of linked, just tap and hold. Note that you can choose view to open it in the viewer instead. Here's a gotcha. Tap and hold often doesn't work while the page is still loading, so make sure to let the page fully load first. You should also wait before tapping links that would normally open in a new window. 
the browser can play embedded movies just like Safari. Or you can download or view them full screen. The browser's movie viewer has the same enhanced controls as Stash's slideshow viewer. As we return to the album, notice that our downloaded content has been added. Visit the App Store or hedonicsoftware.com for more information.